My grandmother, my mother and I are were very close to each other. My grandmother was diagnosed with cancer in 2008. Her health was getting worse every week. During that time, I was studying in camper and would come back home, Bhopal, almost every other week to see her. She was always happy to see me, and I was glad too. As she was nearing her end, she was in deep pain, hallucinating I guess, and wasn't in best state of mind. But she had a clear idea about me, and my mother and our presence. Once, she accused my father of killing her, he was trying to feed her, when she was eating two to three bites of chapatis a day and some water, to keep her alive. In her view it was a different story, my father, a 60-year-old man, got some slaps in return. But he never minded. Back to the story, near her end she was growing so frail, that she could barely turn on the bed leave alone the walking. One night she had a dream at about 3 am, that someone has killed me. She woke and somehow she gained energy and courage to walk up to the main door, and started banging as she wanted to go to camper to save me. The commotion woke up my father, and she told him the dream. My father gave her some consolation but she couldn't go back to sleep again. My father called me at 6 am, which he never does, to let me talk to my grandmother, and to let her know that I am safe, and very well alive. He told me about her dream in which I killed, and I was like huh, somebody pushed me off the cliff last night, and killed me in my dream. She died few weeks later. That incident still makes me feel, that I am still connected to her, whether she is alive or not. My mother and I, had numerous shared dreams, while living cities time zones apart, which I can't even count. These coincidences of having same dream and same night intrigues me. Two incidents I have experienced involving cell phones. The first was when I was in an old fraternity house that people had told me was inhabited by a ghost. I was hanging out with a friend who was playing video games in an upstairs room around 3 am. His cell phone started ringing. He looked at the screen, and it said that my phone was calling him. I took my phone out of my pocket and showed him that it was completely off. What the f he exclaimed. When he answered the call, he said he heard static. He listened to the static for about 40 seconds, then decided to end the call. I turned on my phone and looked at my outgoing call log, which said that my phone had called him for 19 seconds. In the second incident, I was again hanging out with a friend late at night. Once again I had my cell phone in my pocket, but this time it was on. My friend brought up the topic of earth sounds created by the resonance of earth's inner mantle. He claimed that, if a particular cave in Tibet starts making loud continuous sounds, it supposedly means for a certain mystic group that something very important is happening, the words he used was when the gods returned to earth. I thought this idea was fascinating. The energy in the room changed, as if it was suddenly electrified and distorted. I could hear my phone talking in my pocket. I took it out and realized that it had made a call. This shouldn't have been possible, because the keys were locked in a position where it is impossible to enter any numbers or press the send button. When I looked at the number that had been called, it said 2012. The voice was of the operator saying that the call could not be completed as dialed.